Hey, welcome to our final session in 1 John. Who would have thought it would take this long? Um, but I hope that you understand it better, um, and I hope I've explained it well. Uh, so we're going to look at the last verse, 1 John 5, 21, that says, Dear children, keep yourselves from idols. It seems like an add-on. It seems like, why did he just add this? And he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, also keep yourselves from, from idols. But John here, John is writing this letter to the church in Ephesus, where the temple of Diana stood. Worshippers would become joined with the goddess by having sex with prostitutes or priestesses of the temple. Not only that, but the temple was granted asylum for criminals. So many criminals, man, if you could just escape the cops and get to the temple, you were safe. And so it was a haven of, of criminals. It was a den of thieves. Not only that, they made charms here that they believed would grant wishes, that would do all sorts of things. So Ephesus was a center of sorcery, astrology, incantations, and the temple of Diana was just a place of, of sex and sin and um, just a haven for criminals. Now, in this world, in Ephesus, it would be very difficult for a Christian to keep themselves from idols. It was everywhere. It was part of the culture. It was like the center of worship. People came from all around to come to Ephesus to sin. It was everywhere. It was, it was in everything. Everything about the culture around them was centered in idolatry. And yet John still tells them that they must have no part in it. Stay away. Keep away from idols. Don't become infected. And so I think that this, man, this goes with everything. This, everything he's talked about, he's ending it by saying it. You are to be set apart. Do not be a part of the world around you. And, but he's being more specific because these people are in Ephesus. And he's saying, don't be a part of this particular world around you. Don't give in to the sins that your neighbors are giving into. Don't accept their truth as your truth. Be on guard. And we have to take John's words to heart as the culture around us becomes increasingly immoral, as their truth becomes more and more different from ours, as, as our ethics are just across the board. We have to remember this verse, keep ourselves from idols. We have to keep God first. We have to let him set the standard of living. We have to continue to follow him. We cannot become infected by the world around us. We have to be set apart. And so this verse, this ending to 1 John, isn't just an add-on. It, it sums up everything. And it is a reminder that we need today to be set apart, to seek righteousness, to seek holiness, to get in the word and see that as our truth and live by that. Do not become a part of the world around you. And you may think that's difficult. But as I've explained, if you look at what Ephesus was at the time, it was probably more difficult for them to stay set apart in a world like this. And so we can do it. By the grace of God, we can do it. We can be set apart. We can still seek holiness. We can be a righteous people amongst the world. And not only can we do it, we have been called to do it. I hope you've enjoyed this study in 1 John. I've enjoyed being with you. Stay tuned for the next book that we go through. I hope that um, it's as good as this one. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Love you guys.